This is your boss. Yeah, our Nepali Charlie. Who is this handsome boy? This is your boss. Boss, boss is oh my god. Yeah, boss is from <laughs> Kathmandu, Nepal, okay? <laughs> Oh my goodness! So, but uh, we are we are not your slaves, like. <laughs> Just follow the direction of boss, okay? That would be great for you. Where that should we follow your dire <laughs> direction? Yeah, Where should we follow? I'll tell you. You just have to follow, and that will be great for is, you. And you you can do better in your Is there mind. is there any reason we should follow your <laughs> rules and regulations? Yeah, okay, so I think let's uh, let's start easy. our. Yeah, yeah. I think season is in hurry. Yeah. So let's start yeah, our but, presentation. Because other other also they are coming and maybe they are thinking they are yeah. they are feeling bored because we are talking in a like in a personal way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's cut to the Imagine. chase, and let's yeah listen our season presentation. Okay. Stage is yours, King of Kathmandu. <laughs> but here is not his stage, uh, yeah. Here is. <laughs> yes, Ajay sir. You so, want to say something? Yeah, I want to wish uh, a lot from my side to season Pulhami. So, as you said before, also it's first presentation of yours. Yeah. So, I want to wish uh, a lot from my side. Okay, thank you. Same to you. Back to you. Return to you. All things goes to you. <laughs> you are most welcome, bro. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Okay, guys, okay let's it, start. It has been recorded, okay? So you have to show your personality and leadership quality. So it will be published in also as well as in YouTube. Not only YouTube, it will be published in also like Facebook. So that is why you have to show your personality, you have to maintain your body figure, gesture, everything. So be careful about this one things. So let's see the season. So platform is your season. Let's okay, let's area. hope from, from today your subscriber in that YouTube will increase. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, if we have, you know, a such kind uh, speaker, then of course. Our subscriber will increase slowly and gradually. Yeah, my nose is increasing here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's cut to the chest. Oh okay, please start your presentation. Good luck. Okay, Susan, good luck. Okay, <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen from the Nepal. It's Susan Pulami, I'm speaking. Now, today you will get the flavor of mixed flavor, flavor of a mixture of the nervousness, <laughs> excitement, happiness, and curiousness. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling little little bit nervous. So let me drink uh, water. <laughs> Zizan, just uh, take a long deep <laughs> breath. Okay, everybody, are you getting me? Yeah, yeah, we are getting you, we are grabbing you, we are hearing yeah. you, we are listening to you. Yeah, Mela, Sajana, and Savita, and then one is connecting. Okay. Sandeep Maharjan. Uh, okay, now I will start my presentation. Once again, good morning. Sorry, <laughs> good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's my presentation topic is uh, presentation. It's a. Uh, it sounds like very strange and different. Maybe all you know the my topic of presentation. Uh, because uh, uh, I want to first tell the why I chose chosen this topic. Yeah. When when I came in this group, then that time I, I heard that our evening session is the presentation. The people, the member of this group, they give the presentation at that time. So uh, uh, before that time, also I have heard the the presentation, presentation, presentation so many times. But actually, what is presentation? I I was trying to know that, and I thought that oh, I will first I will know about this and I will give presentation. So. Today I make my topic the presentation. 
And I think it's a uh, presentation is the uh, for not all. I think the for most of the people, it's uh, like uh, you know how goodie, uh, Mister Mela sister, you know how goodie. <laughs> Presentation is a how good to everyone, if I say that. Please don't speak okay. uh, Nepali language or any other language. Expecting okay, let, let me let, let me make you clear that what is how good It's a, like a scary thing. Means, uh, for example, yeah, if someone invite you in a uh, in a program, yeah, and and then at that time uh, the host or the the person who is inviting you he was not uh, informing uh, you that the you have to give your presentation or you have to share your ideas in front of the people but uh, you you were there you went there in that program and suddenly uh, you were sitting in the in the that hall and then the host or the that anchor he suddenly uh, spell your name or he calls you to guess to, to share your ideas yeah that time how do you feel yeah, if I were that person, I feel when he, the means that uh, anchor or that person who calls my name, when I heard my name, then my first, my legs start to shake and then my heartbeat starts to increase. And <laughs> my face starts to be <laughs> changed into red and red. It, it, it happens to me, but I don't know about you. So it's like a presentation is a such thing. It means the very scary thing for the most of the people, I think so. So today I, uh, uh, I'm going to give the presentation about the, this presentation, okay? Okay, let me start um, this. Okay, for many people, it might sound like a strange, like the strange question. However, the, for many beginners who are like, the, like us, who are learning, the things, learning the everything, just in a some level, it's a very strange thing, and it, still it find it a, a bit confusing to understand what a presentation is. And you know one thing that if you don't know the something, then you cannot create your ideas in your mind. So uh, today you have to know about that thing. So I hope that today. Uh, this presentation help you to you are you are already a great person you already you have all the person you have already given your great great presentations and i have seen that i have observed that and let's see after after this presentation also you will, it will help you a little bit to to make your presentation more better than the in the past days uh okay so this is not only means the presentation not only includes the students learning uh, about the art of presenting their ideas, but but the peoples across the uh, various fields, people maybe from the various fields and various various backgrounds, cultures. This is also uh, for them to uh, present their ideas. And uh, for example, uh, if you ask an engineer to present. Uh, so here uh, are to present the, about the engineering, uh, engineering uh, in, in front of the mass and he or she may feel the little bit awkward or little bit difficult to present the, his ideas because uh, Tara, I'm sorry, uh, but he has, uh, he has that knowledge, but uh, he feel the uh, difficult to present his ideas in front of the mass because of this. I think this is the lack of the practice to speak in front of the people. So not only the engineer, it's just an example. Most of the people who belong to the different field, they feel difficult to present their ideas without having the prior experience of speaking before an audience. So uh, after saying this, what I think is uh, the main problem is the your lack of practice due to the lack of practice practice so if you practice more and more then it's sure that that you can do that you can do that you can do that thing okay now before now going to the subject i wanna tell you the purposes of this presentation after this presentation what will get say get what will get okay here are some purposes of this presentation okay first purpose is uh, to make you understand about the presentation yeah 
uh, after this presentation, you, you will uh, know that the, what is presentation. And the next thing is to develop your ideas about presentation. How can I give our, uh, uh, give our pre presentation in a better way rather than the in past days? And the uh, next one is uh, to inform the common types of presentation. Yeah, what are the types of presentation? And what are the good qualities of presentation? How can we uh, make our presentation more better? And how can we attract the, our audience, our listeners, our spectators, our viewers? And the uh, last uh, but not least is the to improve your mistakes in presentation. Okay, these are the some purposes of this presentation. Let's hope it will help you to, to learn something and to make a presentation better. Yeah, are you guys, are you getting me? Yeah, yeah, we are getting you. It's okay, then it's like uh, now clear, clear like crystal blues. Yeah, how is oh my goodness, it's just awesome, uh, outstanding. No, no, I mean, the, it's uh, maybe <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, now I want to start uh, from the definition of this presentation. Okay. Uh, there are lots of present uh, definitions of presentation. You can find the definition in the Google too, but I have here only two definitions of presentation. Uh, first one is, okay, let me define the presentation. First one is the, a presentation in the context of public speaking can be described as an activity where a presenter presents his or her ideas, explains the process, provides information or raises questions regarding a subject for public debate. I wanna repeat it again. A presentation in the context of public speaking can be described as an activity where a presenter presents his or her ideas, explains the process, provides information or raises questions regarding a subject for public debate. It's the first definition. And uh, another definition is a speech means a presentation is a speech or uh, talk in which a new product, idea, or piece of work is shown and explained to an audience. It's the, another definition of presentation. And there, there can be many uh, definitions of the presentation. However, it can be the basically narrowed down after mentioned definitions. And, uh, there may be the difference in sentence, words, and but the theme of the, that definition is like this. Yeah, these, these two are the definition of presentation. Uh, I hope that you understand about the presentation. And if you are feeling bored, then I wanna ask some questions to you. Are you feeling bored? Yeah, yeah, sure. If not, then- Ask, ask question. <laughs> okay, this question to, to you all, uh, who wants to give the answer? First, uh, let me ask the question, yeah. Have you ever present your ideas or thoughts or experience in front, in front of mass? If you have any experience, you can see here, please. Anyone? Yeah, of course. I mean, I had uh, lots of, I mean, presentation uh, in my campus. And I had shared, I mean, uh, what are or what were the difficulties uh, while I was learning English? And yeah, I shared my obstacles, endurance. And that was the time, you know, like uh, I didn't know like how to make sentence, how to encounter with words and how to tackle with situation and how to talk with people. And yeah. Yeah, and I mean, do you have any experience, experience, memorable experience uh, regarding this presentation? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, like uh, we everybody have, I, I think, as far as I know, because uh, while giving presentation, I mean, uh, we had, you know, like lots of fear, anxiety and gloomy feelings. Right. So, yeah, yeah I think we had, I mean, bonds of experience regarding presentation. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. And anybody who wants to share your experience about the presentation? <laughs> I 
I think uh, in the okay. beginning, okay, let me add something. I mean, in the beginning, if you don't have uh, experience about presentation, then you will lose your self aplomb. That means you will lose your self confidence. Okay, yeah. and yeah. as you said, like, uh, you know, our legs started shaking, right? Our mm-hmm. lips yeah. will tremble and yeah, I mean, mumble. We, yeah, mumble, murmuring, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, there are lots of uh, things which, yeah. you know, drawbacks our presentation. If we mm-hmm. give our presentation in the beginning, in the initial phase, in the mm-hmm. starting phase, so I think it's very difficult for everyone. Uh, it's like, uh, do you know impromptu speech? Impromptu speech is like giving a presentation without any preparation. That is called yeah. impromptu speech. Mm. Okay, so you, you don't have, I mean, uh, any knowledge regarding that, regarding that topic and you will give your presentation on the spot. I mean, mm what your teacher will ask, what Mm -hmm. your audience will ask, you just Mm -hmm. give your point of view in front Mm -hmm. of mass. That is Mm -hmm. known as impromptu speech. And it is also known as improvisation speech. Mm. Okay, so yeah, so these things, uh, I mean, we we have to give in front of people, we have to give in front of people. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your <laughs> wonderful experience and your yeah uh, for your for sharing us. Okay, now I uh, I want to continue my presentation. Okay, now I'm going to tell about the uh, different types of presentations. Okay, a presentation can be presented for different purposes for. But the main thing is that before presenting a presentation, it is necessary that you have a clear idea regarding the purpose of presentation. It means the way you are presenting your presentation, why the, the, your listener or audience, they, they have to listen to you. First, you have to kind of confirm that thing, then, then your presentation will be good. Okay, uh, here are uh, some types of presentations. Uh, I have... Uh, I have here five types of presentation. Okay, they are, number one is informative presentation, persuasive presentation, instructional presentation, arousing presentation, and the last is the decision-making presentation. Okay, uh, here are, uh, these are the five common um, types of presentations. Okay, let me explain about the informa- informative presentation. Well, first, what is informative presentation? Uh, you may be, when you heard the, this word informative, then uh, some, something is uh, generating or creating in your mind, something is coming in your mind. So uh, this type of presentation means the, um, this type of, normally this type of presentation is presented to inform the, about the rules and regulations of something to the, to the audience, yeah. This type of presentation might be brief with the essential information and uh, uh, to uh, present this the informative presentation, you need the lots of information about the topic and you need the facts about that topic. So, for example, the lectures, yeah, class lectures and the uh, research findings, technical information, uh, results from experiments. These are the types of informative presentation. Means, uh, suppose uh, the class lectures, they in our college or schools, our class teacher, they, they come to our class and, and then they go in front of the class and they, they give the lecture. Means uh, while presenting that type of presentation, if you are presenting the, that informative presentation, you, you must have the information about regarding that topic, what you are going to present. So this is about the informative presentation. Uh, now the second one is the persuasive presentation. But season, uh, sorry for interruption. I mean, all okay. presentation should not be related with informative. Okay. Yeah, yeah, your presentation also here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, second one is the persuasive presentation. Yeah, persuasive means to convince your audience. If you are presenting, 
uh, in front of the audience then you have to convince your uh, audience means the yeah a, a persuasive presentation is uh, geared towards convincing the audience to believe a specific point of view means uh, for example the product demos if you are uh, advertising your products yeah in a uh, suppose you are representing from a company and you are presenting your presentation about the products then you have to uh, convince your that audience why because in the market there are lots of uh, products uh, there there may be the lots of product and why uh, they are they, they they should choose that product they should buy that product. you have to convince uh, to the audience mm -hmm. and the uh, sales pitch pitch means you know the promotion of something by demonstrating or debating mm -hmm. sales pitch and the uh, investor pitch and presentation on social issues debate and these are the uh, examples of the persuasive presentation and the third uh, type of presentation is instructional presentation instructional means the, to give the instruction about something suppose uh, you are uh, joining or you are uh, you get the admission in some college and you don't know the rules and regulation of that college then especially the the college at the first time the college provides the orientation class yeah at that time uh, they inform you about the rules and regulation of that college and the syllabus of your course so that that orientation class that is the like instructional presentation and not only that such presentation might be uh, to provide an audience with the instructions such as regarding a process or the use of the product means the uh, tutorials for using a software yeah how to use the software if the new software can then how to use that software and the new machines and yeah and the like the orientation class these are the examples of instructional uh, presentation and the fourth type of presentation is arousing presentation yeah it means uh, this type of presentation is meant to make the audience think about a certain topic means uh, when the presenter presents something in front of the audience then that presenter that creates something in your mind if you are audience then while presenting the uh, in some topic in the in front of the uh, of you all then that creates something in your mind Suppose, for example the religious speech and the presentation about a taboo taboo you know taboo means the a social or it's a religious custom prohibiting discussion of uh, some particular people particular uh, person or place uh, for example a sex is a taboo subject for many people and dating a coworker it's considered taboo and relig religious taboos against drinking alcohol and marrying uh, marrying a close relative is a taboo in many cultures these are the uh, examples of taboos so yeah uh, these are the uh, presentation about this type of taboos and motivational uh, presentation these are the types of the arousing presentation because while presenting this type of presentation uh, in front of the audience in front of the mass then that presentation creates something in your mind so the this 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 is called the uh, persuasive presentation and the last but not least uh, type of presentation is decision making presentation yeah uh some presentations are conducted with the sole aim of providing facts and the figures to help the audience reach a decision for example uh if you are planning to do work in somewhere if you are planning to start a business and then which uh, which field is better for you or according to the now, uh, now market then this this type of means the decision making presentation helps you to choose the uh, to take the right decision at that time and the, the career planning presentation i think uh, especially this career planning presentation is it is suitable for the students of the uh, in the schools because i want to share uh, my experience when i was in school school level yeah uh, i don't know about the in other country what is the trend in other country 
but in our country nepal yeah when the student they passed some level of study in in their school level and they have to choose the their favorite subject or they have to they have to start their new career in the new subject so at that time most of the students they are in uh, confusion that which subject is better for me in or in which uh, subject my career is secure so students they they are most of the students they feel confusion at that time so this type of programs means the career planning programs uh, if the college or the, if the school they provide this type of programs uh, it helps to take the right decision uh, for the students so this is the and the another example is the business meeting yeah and uh, presentation about legislation and the laws these are the examples of uh, decision making uh, presentation yeah this is all about the types of presentation okay i finished the types of presentation and the definition of presentation and if you have any queries please ask and if you are feeling bored i have the uh, tablet to make you fresh yeah <laughs> i have jokes international joke <laughs> okay just share with us yeah jo joke about yeah, joke. joke yeah of course you can say me me like question do you have any question yeah no <laughs> but you are raising your hand what, what does it mean <laughs> hello good evening oh my hello. god yeah good evening hi yes you're welcome krishu Are you Hello. Are you listening us, Krishu, ma'am? It means uh, the she had some technical problem. Yeah, maybe. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then is your hand in you? Yeah, yeah. Are you listening us, Krishu, ma'am? Hello Krishu ma'am I think she is not Yes Krishu getting our voice Uh okay Uh Susan just uh, share your <laughs> joke <laughs> Let's listen your okay. <laughs> joke <laughs> Hello Krishu ma'am Okay, I will. Yeah. Uh, I will. Uh, you have any sound? So before, also when I was trying to join. With... Okay. Maybe she has some network problem. Yeah. Yeah, we. I think so. Hello. She is not hearing. She is not hearing right. Yeah, yeah that's why she is. It's just uh, <laughs> mimicry. Point. Doing mimicry. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let it be, Susan. Okay. Okay. Okay, jokes. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to share my jokes to you all. Uh, it's uh, maybe some of the members of this group, if you have heard, then... Le, le, be ready to hard again listen again okay this is the the joke between the mr bean and the albert einstein yeah you know mr bean and albert einstein yeah once the <laughs> mr bean and albert einstein they they meet together and uh, yeah they uh the that albert uh, albert einstein he challenged to the mr bin uh, that because he is a scientist and is very intellectual person so he challenged that okay what i will ask the question to you means to the mr bin and if you answer that question if you give the answer of that question then i will give you 10000 sorry 1000 but and when 
I'm sorry. Let me repeat. The Mr. Bean and the, that Albert Einstein, the what the challenge, their challenge is. The Albert Einstein challenge to Mr. Bean that I'll ask question that uh, question. Then if you give the answer of that question, or if you can't give the answer of that question, you have to give only one dollar for me. But while ask, asking the question by that Mr. Bean to the Albert Einstein, then if the Albert Einstein can't give the answer of that question, then he will give the one thousand dollar. It means the if Albert Einstein can't give the answer, he will give one thousand. But if the Mr. Bean can't give the answer, uh, he will give only one dollar, one dollar and one thousand dollar. And first the Mm, that Albert Einstein, he asked the question, and he asked a very difficult question. And that time, that Mr. Bean can't give the answer of that question, and he gives one dollar to the uh, Albert Einstein. Uh, then uh, the Mr. Bean, he asked the question like this: The question is, tell the name of that animal which has four legs, and while crossing the street that has only two legs. And while coming back from that street, he has uh, five legs. What is the name of that animal? He means the Mr. Bean asked the question like this. And uh, Albert Einstein, he starts to think very deeply. What is, the, what, what is that type of animal? He thinks, he thinks, thinks, but uh, he couldn't give the answer of that question. And he gives $1,000 to the Mr. Bean. And then when he give $1,000 to the Mr. Bean and Albert Einstein again asks the same question to the Mr. Bean, then what is the name of that animal? <laughs> again, then what does that Mr. Bean do? You know, that he gives $1 to <laughs> Albert Einstein because he himself doesn't know the answer of that question. <laughs> Did you understand? Did you get yeah. my... <laughs> Joke. You get uh, the point of your joke, but <laughs> actually, but it uh, is not hilarious. It is not funny. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not hilarious as I expected from you. Anyway, yeah. it was a good uh, or uh, it was funny. I think I think I just uh, I mean uh, memorize about uh, <laughs> the face of Mr. Bean. <laughs> and <laughs> I think it's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If if you don't laugh now, then you will laugh when you remember in other time. Then you will laugh when you stay alone. Then you laugh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me continue my presentation. Now, uh, yeah, I was talking about the types of presentation. I already finished the types of presentation. Now I'm going to talk about the means of presentations. Means the, what are the ways to present the presentation? Yeah. Uh, yeah, how a presentation is presented, roughly we can divide it into three types. There, we can present our presentation orally and visual in a visual way or visually and oral and visual both. But if you are presenting your ideas or presenting your presentation in orally, that time what you need is you must have the good presentation skill at that time. Because if you don't have the presentation skill, that time your the audience, your listener, your viewer, their spectator, they may feel the bore. So they, they cannot get the things what you are trying to give to them. So um, for the oral presentation, if you are presenting orally, you need the good presentation quality and skill. And uh, another is visual only. And the uh, um, visual, uh, if you are using the means of visual to present your uh, presentation, that times uh, you need the that slides and video clips to present your presentation. And the uh, third is visual and oral. Normally, most of the people, or I think that everybody, they use this. Uh, this means means the visual and oral. They they give the present orally as well as the visual visually, and this is the one uh, effective way to present the presentation. Yeah, these are these three are the means of presentation, and 
again, here are the good qualities of presentation. What are the good qualities of presentation? How can you present your presentation in an effective way? And how can you attract your audience? Yeah, here are some qualities. Okay, I'm going to share these qualities. I think this quality may help you to make your presentation more qualitative. Let's see. Mm, the first one is the, yeah, keep your slides simple. Means if you are preparing some slides, uh, yeah, if you're uh, making PowerPoint in the laptop or in the computer, then keep your slides simple. Means don't make it more complex. Because they are uh, the people or the audience, they may, they may from the from the different background, different field, and it it makes them more difficult to understand. So keep your slides simple, and try to use powerful images and ide uh, videos rega related to the to your topic. And the next one is tell a story means the, it doesn't mean that you have to tell the story to the audience. It means that while presenting your presentation, if you present your that ideas and your thoughts or presentation, like you, know, you are telling some story and the audience, they may feel the more comfortable and they may feel more, it means that you can draw the attention of your audience. It may draw your, draw the attention of the audience and do a mock presentation. You know what is mock presentation? Mock presentation means uh, I think it's uh, you can do only in a, your with your colleagues or in a class. Mock means that while presenting the, your presentation, then you can uh, uh, mock your that presenter. Means oh, you are doing mistakes in that spelling, uh, in the uh, the words and grammar. There is your grammar mistake. You can point point them while pre presenting the presentation, but it may make them the irritate. So it is only, you can use this method in the, with your colleagues or with your friends in the college. But I think uh, if we do that, then